Hey guys, Tyler again. Uh, obviously you guys can tell my wife really wants me out of the house today because she's like, every time I try to go in there, even get a snack or water, she's like, go back out to the shop, go to your man cave. So here I am with another video. Uh, we have a load trail review right here, load trail gooseneck. Um, it's supposed to be a 26 foot, 14,000 pound GVW. However, I had it changed uh, because my skid steer and my mini excavator plus trailer weight is more than 14,000 pounds. So what they did was the axles all stay the same. Uh, they changed to a heavier rim and then to a heavier ply tire, which then can get you to that higher load range. Um, so we have 235, 85 R16s on here um, with a 14 ply tire rating. So as you can see, they are a much fatter tire as well and much more heavy duty. Um, we have drive over fenders on this trailer, which I really like. Um, and you can't scratch them near as easy and everything. Um, one downfall of this trailer right here is, so these are the max ramps. Try not to be too noisy. But this angle um, is totally fine with skid steer and mini excavator, but if you're trying to bring up a really long car, um, such as a muscle car or something like that, you're gonna bottom out the exhaust or anything under the car pretty much right here. So that is a little bit of a bummer on this trailer. Um, besides that, everything else is pretty good that I've ran into and stuff like that. Um, Diamond plate, I really like that. Um, obviously, every piece of equipment is going to drip hydraulic oil and stuff, but you can just hose it off. It doesn't stain your wood and doesn't dry crack like wood, even though I mostly keep it indoors here. I did spend the money, get the D hooks, D rings, people call them. I call them D hooks. Uh, we have a full front tool compartment versus a, just a half bin, so plenty of storage for everything. I do have battery in here as well for the winch right here and lights. Um, so if you're loading at night, it's more than capable to see all the way to the back of the trailer. You can even see it reflecting on the back of the wall at three o'clock in the afternoon. So definitely lights are worth it. Winch is worth it because if you break down one time and you got to try to hand crank it on, not so much fun. Dual front jacks is a must uh, for having the heavy weight equipment on everything. So versus that one that just teeter totters back and forth on that on that gooseneck. So um, load rating. We are going to where is the load rating? So I'm going to cover that one. Load rating right here is seven thousand and then 16,800 pounds. So for that, you know, 16,800 pounds, totally worth it um, to just have them change out a couple of tires and a couple of rims. And if you're buying brand new, they'll usually work you a good deal because they can still reuse those other tires. So yeah, besides that, I'd say the ramp area is the only downfall of this trailer everything else seems to be going smoothly we've had it about a year and a half to two years now and the diamond plate obviously is looking real good fenders are looking good i have done a little bit of paint touch-ups on the fenders when we get a scuff just so it doesn't rust i get a little bit right there but we try to take really good maintenance of our stuff to try to keep it to last so yeah, I would say I would give it a nine out of ten. Um, this one came out of Texas. I do go down to Texas to buy them. Um, so if you have any questions or whatever, just shoot it in the comments section. I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Thanks.